I'm going to show you how to install an acrylic splash bank. Tools you need are your safety equipment, power tools, clamp, masking tape, tape measure, silicon, level or straight edge, a good long bench, and of course our acrylic splash bank. Splash backs are important in your kitchen because they help protect your wall from all sorts of things. They're also a great way to finish off your kitchen. The first thing we do is measure up the space. I'm measuring the length and the height of the splash back before I make the cuts. Now I've got the measurements, I'll go and transfer them to the acrylic splash back. I've measured the splash back and worked out that it's not quite long enough to be one whole piece. I'll now have to work out exactly where the join can go and that's a very easy process. What I'm going to do now is put masking tape on where I have to cut. We've used the masking tape on the splash back to stop it chipping when you're making the cut. Now I'm going to mark out on the masking tape where the cut goes. The first cut I'm going to do is an oversized cut because if you go to cut it exactly two size first time with a large off cut it will crack and damage the piece required. So once I've made that first cut I will then cut again to right on the line to make sure it's a neat cut. Now I'm putting the clamps on so that the piece doesn't move while making the final cut. Now I've cut the length to size, it's now time to cut the height. We can do that the same process we cut in the first cut. It's now time to mark out the power points. I've now taken the centre point for the power points. I'm now going to measure the width and the height that the power point needs to be fitted into. Now I'm going to transfer the measurements onto the front of the splash back. I prefer to do it on the front so that it's less chance of splintering and you've got more control over where you're doing the cut. So now I'm going to drill some holes in where the cutouts are going to be, then I'll grab my jigsaw and do an accurate cut. Now we're going to check that the power points are spot on and then we'll fix the splash back to the wall. Now I know everything's correct, I'm going to peel back the plastic off the back and put some silicon on and fix it into place. We've had our electrician out, we know the cables are not live, so therefore we're safe to put the splash back up. We've just used some tile packers to pack it up off the bench in case you want to change your bench top at another time. We now repeat the process on the other side where we've got the join. So we've put the pieces up, push it tight so the joins fits nicely, make sure it is nice and level and there's no silicon protruding out of the join. Leave it for a good 24 hours, then you can remove the plastic film. You then fit your power points and just give it a nice clean and tidy up. It's a great way to make your kitchen look fresh and new. Oh,